Okay, um, we're going to do a, a, a build, and we're going to use, this is a S3T 3000 case, it's clear. Um, clear makes it a little bit easier, but it'll be, also makes things a little bit different if you're using a, a colored case. Um, I'm going to use a Panasonic F3, it's a really nice little camera. It does a great job, good flash, very good on batteries, um, just a nice little camera. Now I'm going to position the camera as I want to be able to get a good flash. I like the my flash opens up a lot. I like to keep my flash hole open. So I'm going to mark where I like my camera so I can open up my flash. Now I will have to grind this ridge off to put my glass on because I'll put it on the outside. And I'll have to drill for the f drill. And if you were using a, a solid case, then you're going to have to use a template or the front of the camera and mark out your holes. I'll be able to do that through the case. I'll be able to mark my hole here because I can see where the camera's going to be. But what I want to do is I'm going to use a piece of uh, corner edge for a drywall. And um, I'll use that as a camera shelf. And I'll mark this off. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to glue it. Now you're going to have to... I'll have to... Uh, let it dry. You'll have to let it dry for a while. Okay. Now, before I glue down, I want to rough the plastic so my glue is going to stick a little bit better, but don't want to undo my complete line. I'll rough this up, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll keep it on, clamp it up, and let it dry. Once it's dry, then we'll continue with the next step. And the same with our if you're using this, you want to rough it up too, or if you're using aluminum. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay that down on our line, make sure it's straight, and we're going to goop that down. And we're going to goop this down. And I'll clamp it up. I want to make sure it's straight where I want it. Okay, my uh, shelf is dried down now. I have it in there. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use is a one inch PVC coupler. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. And if you notice, there's a, a ridge inside here, inside the coupler. So I'm going to cut out so I get that ridge. So it's not quite in half, but it's real close. And um, what I did with this one, is I, I took a Dremel and I Dremeled the inside out so it's thinner because I need that extra room. Um, you can do that before or after, it's up to you, but always leave some up here because what we're going to want to do is, is round that. You can do that before too. And we're going to round that top so we don't have what you call a flash hole. Now we can grind this more later. And we grind down in so we can get away from our, our flash hole because our, our flask won't be able to get over top of this sometimes you'll get a hole in the bottom of the pitcher and what I'm using is a 33 millimeter glass lens um, I can get these from uh, www.dealextreme.com um, they take a little bit maybe a few three weeks to get here um, I, you get 10 for like three dollars and fifty cents um, that's with free shipping but they do come from China it takes a while so be prepared for that part of it, unless you can find one elsewhere. But that fits right inside that. And that, it fits right inside that little, fits right inside there, so it's close. Now, that's that little, if you have a coupler, you'll feel a little ridge inside the coupler, and that's that ridge. The glass will fit right up in there. So now I have a real nice setup here. And what I'll have to do eventually is uh, figure out how high I need, want my, my uh, coupler so to get ready for this I need to drill a hole the size of the coupler so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the camera and I'm going to mark where the centers are so it's easier with, a, with this case because it is clear so I'm going to I want to mark the center of the flash and I want to mark the center of the lens
It could be a little bit off side to side because we can put foam in there. We don't want to be too far down. So I'm going to drill right there at that hole and at that hole. And I'll drill a pilot hole first. So what I did was I drilled a pilot hole for my flash, a pilot hole here. So if I use a um, if I use a Forstner bit, I won't walk. Or if I use a hole saw, that'll guide my center bit and make sure my hole saw is right there. Because like I said, I want to drill a hole the width of this, so this will fit in. You don't want it real sloppy. You want it kind of tight, if you can. Because um, we're going to put that in and we're going to glue it, but we'll have to, to uh, decide how high we want the, want the, uh, the uh, lens extension. And we'll go over that here in a little while. Now, as you can see, I got my hole drilled. And my snorkel will go right inside like that, and I can glue it in. But I'll have to set the height of it. Like, I'll do that later. Now, I'm going to grind out for the, for the, for the uh, flash. Now, what I did was I cut this out for my flash with a Dremel. It was easy once I pre-drilled my hole, I just stick with Dremel right in and Dremel that out. And I'll also ground that ridge off here so I can glue my glass on. What I'll do is I'm going to put this snorkel in, I'll set it, and then I'll, I'll cut a custom, I'll mark it out and I'll cut a custom piece of glass. It's not that very difficult. You can use it out of an extra, one of your extra 33 millimeter lenses. So, uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of foam and I'm going to put it in here for the camera to sit up against. Um, some people won't. I do. I kind of like that. Helps with some flash. You can still get flash bleed on a uh, on an extended lens camera, believe it or not. Uh, stuff can get around anything. Okay, now I took uh, I have a piece of uh, 16th foam sticky back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. Now, if you have a flash gasket, uh, you still have a problem with the flash gasket. You still have to cut it. So I just like to use a piece of blank foam. And I'll take the back off of it off, and I'll stick it right to the case. So I want to glue, so I'm going to put that down, make sure it's, that I'm set. Now what, I'm going to, what I use is a X-Acto knife with a curve on it. You can use a regular X-Acto knife with a, with a triangle tip. With, uh, I like this tip because I can go right around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to poke at, and I like to go and just work my way around that, right up against that circle that I cut out. And that's my hole for my, I'm going to do the same thing for my glass. And I always like to start at the thinnest part. So I don't want to finish there because then it will tear on me. Now there's a very good reason why I'm putting this in first. And it's stuck to the case. Is that um, I need to know when I set my extension height, I want to know my, wow that stuff really stuck. I uh, want to set my height for my lens extension. I want to know how, I mean, I've got to be perfect on that, almost. So I want to be as close as I can. So that's what we're going to look like. 